Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm doing a follow-up tutorial to the Tip Tuesday where I was bending wire for jewelry and I had made a sunshine. The sun was a design that I used to make in the 90s. It was in my 1993 catalog, the sun and moon earrings. I used to only do wire jewelry and then after a few years I started adding beads. So I do have a tutorial for the sun ring and the moon ring and today I will show you how to make them as earrings. What you're going to need for this project is 20 gauge wire. I'm using tarnish resistant brass. I have my earring hooks. I have 8 millimeter miracle beads. Often I'll use cat's eye beads and I have my tools. So start with about a 12 to 15 inch piece of wire depending on how big your bead is. So we're going to first start by putting the bead on there. Leave a couple of inches at the top and we're going to wind this to the front of the bead. So wind it all the way around. So it's done a full turn around the front and then we're going to bring this towards the back. This is going to come behind that wire that's going straight up and then we're going to wind it around. So we have secured that bead in place by putting the wire in front and then up to the back and around the top and we're just going to bend it down on a bit of an angle. So imagine going around a clock and we're just going to do the little ticks around the outside. So basically what it is, it's four long strands. So this is going to be longer, 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 longer and in between there's going to be shorter sun rays. So just hold this one here and bend it out. I'm using my fine stainless steel round tip pliers. This one's just going out on an angle and then depends on how big you want it. This could be about a quarter inch. We're going to bend that to the front. I'm just going to flip it over so I could get the tip with my end of the pliers and we're going to bend it at a bit of an angle. And then what you can do is you can squeeze it in a bit with your fingers if you want. Imagine at the halfway point we're going to bend it straight out that way. So now we're going to take this and bend it straight out this way. Keep in mind this design takes a bit of practice to get these evenly spaced apart. If you space them too close together you can always open it a bit, bring the pliers full it further down and bend it again but you can't bend it too much before it breaks. Just be careful. So now this is about a quarter inch so this will be a little longer maybe about half an inch and then we're going to hold that hold your finger there and push it over the round pliers. So it's made the bend and you can squeeze it with your fingers. So that's behind. So now we're going to hold this and bend this one at an angle. So again we need a short one so we're going to take this and bend it at an angle and then we're going to hold this at about the quarter inch mark and bring it around so it makes that bend. Pinch it a bit, flip it so you can access it, hold this and bend it down. Imagine where the hole is. We're just going to take this and bend it straight down. So in theory this bend should line up with that hole. Now we're going to take this, keep in mind we're bending one direction and then the other direction, back, forth, back, forth, so they always stay on the same level. So this one too at about half inch or a little longer, you're going to hold it and bend it straight up. Pinch it, line it up, hold it in place and then bend it out where it's bent there. We're going to do the same on that side. Bend it here on an angle and then hold it at about a quarter inch and bend it to the front. Hold that there, bring it here and then in line with that one we want to bend it out. So we're going to bend it straight out. Check that it lines up. Looks good. We're going to bend this at about a half inch, push it, 
give it a pinch. Don't worry if they're absolutely perfectly the same length. Hold this, bring it up. And then we have one last one that's going to be the same as that one, but on the opposite side, take this, bend it at an angle, and then at the quarter inch mark, bend this to the front. Flip it so we can access it. Bend that one up on an angle. So this doesn't like slide in when I twist it. I like to help it out first. So I'm just going to hold this and at the spot where I'm going to bend it, I just hold it with my round pliers and bend it to the back. So with that bend already done, it prevents it from slipping too much when I twist it. So now we can hold this and twist this around a couple of times. So one, two, depending on how tall you want this part of the sun. Clip it. So from here, if we have this wire coming around the front, when you make this loop, you want this wire to go the opposite way so they'll meet flush at the back. Hold this with your round pliers, bend it to the left, and then hold this on the larger part of your round pliers. Bring it around to make your loop. Hold this with your flat pliers and bring it around a couple of times when you clip it at the back, these two ends are going to meet flush and then you can just pinch them down a bit. And then from here, if your ends are like sticking up or a little crooked, just hold it and straighten them out. Because you want this to be a straight line, this to be a straight line, that is straight and that straight. From there, just open up your earring hook and stick it on. And then we'll make the moon. For the moon earrings, we have about eight inches of wire. I'll bend this at about the two to two and a half inch mark and bend it on a right angle. Then we're gonna get a round form like a Sharpie and then just bend this one around To make the moon shape, just where the tip of the moon will be, we're going to take our round pliers, hold the wire gently with the round pliers, and bend that to the back. You can push it with your finger so it's bent to the back. And then what I like to do is I hold the end gently with the round pliers, and then I take my finger and curve it around and just bring it up so it makes that curved part and then add about the quarter to three-eighths of an inch mark. We're going to bend it straight up. And then we'll take our bead, stick it on there, and then we're going to hold the bead with our thumb and our finger and push this around. So we want it to follow the curve of the bead. And then you can actually hold the bead again and just pull it back a little bit, just a teeny bit there. And then we're going to take our round pliers again, hold it where the other tip of the moon is, and then push it straight up. And then we're just going to hold this with the round pliers and push it with our finger. So it makes a bit of a sharp bend there. We want to curve it out though, so we're going to hold this with our round pliers again, and then again with the tip of our finger, we're going to push it around, round it out. And then where you want to bend it here, we're going to flip it so I can access it with my pliers. Like we did with the sun, we're going to hold this with our round pliers and then push it around to the back. We have that wire hugging around the vertical wire. And then what we want to do is twist that around. So we're going to get our fingers in there, hold that snug so it doesn't move out of place, and then go around a few times. Clip it, and we can just pinch that in a little bit more, straighten it out. If this got a little distorted, you can unwind it a little bit. And if that's going that way, we want to bend this the opposite way. And then get our round pliers, bring it around to form our loop. Hold this with the flat pliers, and then bring it around. One two 
and you can go a third time. So this is coming around the opposite way, so they're going to meet up there at the back. And we're going to clip it, pinch that end in so it's flush, and then we're going to take the earring hook and stick that on there. And there you have some beautiful sun and moon earrings made with brass wire and turquoise miracle beads. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.